Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is what causes waves. What you need for this experiment is water, a container, I used a rain gutter, a fan, or an air blower. So, hey, uh, so today's experiment is what makes waves. Uh, so wind generates waves, and the way it works is it blows across the top of the surface of the water, and um, that ge generates um, ripples which uh, and cause takes the energy from the wind and transfers it to the water and it makes a wave. So the longer that the wind blows and the, for the farther distance and time will you know, determine how large the wave is. And so we're gonna do a couple experiments to try to show you how we can create waves with wind. There are three main gen, uh, wave generations, right? Um, so there's the uh, gravitational uh, pull that the moon and sun do with the tides. There's earthquakes that do uh, tsunamis. And then there's wind stress, um, which uh, uh, creates the wind waves that we're going to experiment with today. So the first experiment is I'm just going to blow and make my own wind go across the surface and we'll see how large the waves will go. Wind blowing across the surface of the ocean transfers energy into the water. Initially, light wind, like me blowing hair, generates small ripples called capillary waves on the water surface. If the wind increases, added roughness creates the capillary waves to increase in the rate of energy transferred, and the waves begin to form the ocean surface even bigger. And you can see that mine doesn't go for a long enough time or uh, is strong enough to be able to create large waves. It did create the ripples uh, that you might see in a lake and stuff, but it does not create humongous waves. So I'm going to get a little help for my second experiment to see if we can create these waves to be a little bit bigger. So for the second experiment, I got a fan, and so we're gonna try to increase the speed of the wind, uh, the strength of it and the distance um, uh, for the amount of time to see if I could create a bigger wave than I did when I just blew a little bit of wind. How large the waves get depended on three factors. The strength of the wind, the amount of time that the wind blows, and the distance, which is called the fetch, over which the wind blows in a straight line across the ocean. And it looked like it did get pretty big, so I'm going to try one more thing to see if I could increase the waves. So the last one here, I got an air blower. So I'm sure it's gonna be enough. So the waves of the ocean's surface are usually formed by wind. The faster the wind, the longer it blows, and the farther it can blow uninterrupted, the bigger the waves, as seen here. Therefore, the wave size depends on the wind speed, wind duration, and the area over which the wind is blowing, called the fetch. You can see I had to move my camera back and zoom in because the waves are splashing all over the camera where before I had it up close. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you did, please click thumbs up and to subscribe. And thanks for watching.